today we are going to discuss the important difference between two professional qualifications or we can say what is the benefit of this professional qualification how we can achieve the professional qualification and what is the duration the syllabus what is the core values what are the minimum qualification is required the two important professional qualification across the world number 1 is cpa and number 2 cma in order to understand the difference between cma and cpa firstly we have to understand what is cma what are the minimum qualifications required for acquiring the cma how this professional qualification we can achieve what are the preparations required for this type of qualifications and the time duration and the syllabus what are the contents involved what type of core values what type of respect we are getting from the world these informations we will get from uh, today's our discussion so firstly we can discuss with the cma you know that cma is the certified management accountant it is provided by ima institute of management accountant and a cpa cpa is certified public accountant certified public accountant the registration or this is provided by aicpa american institute of certified public accountant firstly we can discuss with the cma cma is the advanced professional certification cma is an advanced professional certification it is designed to measuring accounting and financial management skill to drive the business performance your skills your abilities are required to drive a particular business to improve your skills to develop your skills you need some professional knowledge you need some professional certification that informations or that knowledge or skill you are getting from this cma so the important core values of the cma is respect from the individual and the passion for serving as a member i am a cma member it is a passion and the highest standard of integrity and trust cma there should be some ethics we should follow some ethics and trust and a team and to achieve anything because you are a cma member you have to achieve something in the organization because your skills your abilities your capabilities everything you have to use the organization to achieve the, their objectives and innovation you are finding new new things because the cma certification always provide updates new improvements new things changes everything you will get not east so innovation and the continuous improvement we can notice from your career your knowledge your skill everything we can notice from that is why the people are seeing cma is an advanced professional certification cma is an advanced professional certification it is designed it is developed measuring what you are measuring there accounting and financial management skills your accounting skills your finance management skills for what to drive a business performance how you will drive a business performance this is the brief introduction about the cma next achieving cma suppose you have achieved your cma professional qualification how what type of knowledge you are acquiring and this how this will help for the organization you will be the mastery of financial planning how to do a good planning for your organization how to do a good budget for your organization you know that financial planning is the most important part of any organization so it is the responsibility of a certified management accountant to analyze or to prepare a good financial planning for the survival or the future growth of the business then you have a good control that means you have the analysis control suppose on companies a financial statement is given to you you can analyze what will be the position of that company in the shorter period or longer period or the medium period what is the position how an organization is analyzing so you will get additional power for analyzing the organizational financial details then decision making power will be increased because you are a certified management accountant you can take various decisions in finance for the development of the organizations and 
you you will automatically develop some professional ethics so you will get a mastery of financial planning analysis control decision making and the professional ethics and the cma you know that one it aims higher compensation if you are a certified uh, management accountant surely 100% we can say that your compensation will be well compared to the others it will be more so cma what to do what you can do as a cma member act as a trusted business advisor you can act as a trusted business advisor that means you can work as an advisor for a business support for business management and strategic development you can always support for the business for this for the growth of the business and you can take strategic decisions for the development of the organizations and provide accurate information for better decisions in order to take a decision you will provide quality or clarity of informations or you will provide a good decisions accurate informations for better decisions and a plan for long term as a cma member or a certified management accountant you can plan for a longer period work hands on and value in the organization because your knowledge is sound your knowledge is perfect you know how to manage a business how to analyze a business how to develop a business so your experience or your points will be added value in the organization for the survival in the future now we can discuss what are the portions or what are the syllabus included in the cma part the qualification required for to obtain cma is any bachelor's degree but you have two years experience in the accounting field cma part is classified into two parts part 1 and part 2 part 1 we are discussing external financial reporting decisions are then planning forecasting and budgeting we are discussing performance management cost management and internal control totally around 16 chapters are here for the part 1 syllabus external financial reporting decisions planning forecasting budgeting performance management cost to management internal control in simply we can say in the part of first covered financial accounting cost accounting management accounting statistics little auditing and internal controlling and cma part 2 this now we are calling as a strategic management areas ethics for a professional risk management for the investments corporate finance decision analysis investment decisions in nutshell we can say that we are covering the major areas in the part 2 is ethics what are the ethics required for a cma professional and the risk management is there and investment decisions corporate finance and some decision analysis is covering in this portion this is the syllabus of part 1 and part 2 next we have a discussion about our cpa cpa is a certified public accountant this is the highest standard of competence in the field of accountancy across the global the exam is administered by aicpa the exam is conducted and administered by aicpa american institute of certified public accountants which is the largest accounting body in the world cpa course eligibility you want to know how what are the eligibility or how we can obtain cpa certification any of the below qualification is required for the cpa number 1 member of institute of chartered accounts india or member of icma institute of cost and management accounts of india member of company secretary in india or master of commerce mco or mba these are the qualifications required for getting cpa now we are discussing cpa syllabus exam syllabus cpa syllabus include four sections number 1 auditing and attestation number 2 financial accounting and reporting regulation number 4 business and government concept auditing and attestation number 1 number 2 financial accounting and reporting number 3 regulation and number 4 business and government concept here the question is 
normally multiple choice questions and some task based simulation questions and situation based questions also will be there cpa course benefits suppose you are taking the cpa you got the certification of cpa what are the benefits included there where you can work after getting this qualification number 1 you will get international recognition that means you can work international level any place in the world career opportunities you can work accounting and audit firms research firms investment banks hedge funds private equity firms mutual fund merger and acquisitions these are the career opportunities for the cp people here a single level online exam with four papers online exam it is conducted by aicpa the certification is provided by american institute of certified public accountant single level exam online exam with the four papers only then we can discuss what is the academic excellence academic excellence cpa qualification is similar to indian ca the cpa qualification is similar to indian ca cpa will have the knowledge of suppose you are a cpa qualified person have the knowledge of us gap us gap means generally accepted accounting principles g a a s generally accepted auditing standards us federal taxation and business laws these are four knowledge you will get from cpa you have a clear understanding about the gap and the gas g a a s generally accepted auditing standard us federal taxation you have a clear knowledge about the us taxation laws and practices and you have a clear idea about the business laws the cpa exam is AUD, BEC, FAR, REG. AUD means auditing and attestation. BEC means business environment. FAR means financial accounting and reporting. REG means regulation. AUD four hours, multiple choice question. Ninety questions will be there. Seven task based questions. You can see. Four hours, ninety questions, multiple choice, and seven task based questions. B E C business environment, three hours question, total three hours, seventy two multiple choice, and three written communication. Written communication. F A R financial accounting and reporting, four hours, ninety questions, and seven task based questions is there. And R E G regulation. There is three hours, seventy-two multiple choice questions, and six task-based questions will be there. These are the examination rules and regulations of CPA. GAAP, GAAS, Federal Taxation of U.S. and Business Law. This is the uh, the time frame and the question details for the examination. Four hours. Three hours, four hours, three hours. Look, ninety questions, seventy-two questions, ninety and seventy-two questions. Seven task-based questions are there. Three written communication. Seven task-based. Six task-based questions are there. This is the exam criteria for the CPA. What is the major difference between CMA and CPA? CMA holders are known as the preparer or the users of accounting information. But CPA holders are known as auditor for accounting information. They are known as auditor. Here they are the preparer. Number two, insider corporate professional. They are the inside people for corporate companies. Inside key people that are the CMA holders. Here the public practice license. They can independently practice. Number three. CMA is a concept based. We are doing the accounting work based on the concept, but here rules are following. Each and every transaction, they will check the rules, and higher quality and lower cost will be there. Here, attesting 
accuracy of the financial records. They are attesting the financial records. They are checking the accuracy of the transactions. Forward looking, but here historical. The CMA people are doing forward looking how the financial planning we can do. They will check what the work done by the CMA people is correct or wrong. That is why historical data. They always checking the historical informations. Then CMA holders in simply we can say they are the players in accounting. But in the CPA we can call as CPA holders are referee. These are the major difference between CMA and the CPA. Based on all these informations, today's discussion, I think that you got a clear picture about CMA and CPA. Thank you.